want to push the pace. Oh, that they do. Pace, pace, pace. And as a fan, I just love these types of matchups. It's so much fun to see these teams get up and down the floor, play with pace, and have fun. I'm excited for this one. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside. And it's White in at the one. Outside, Williams. Vucevic, a screen on Siakam. Outside White, six to shoot. Here's Vucevic. Oh, and Turner with a block. Siakam, pass to Halliburton. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Elevating his playmaking over time, Siakam recognizes when his teammates have clean looks. To the inside, here's Williams. Excellent D there from Siakam. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. It's a five-point game. Halliburton outside. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. There's 49 seconds left now in the first quarter. Here's DeRozan. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Vucevic with a steal. From outside the arc, the Pacers pull it in. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Timeout called, the Pacers. A big group substitution here for Indiana. Toppin, he's checked in for Turner. Neesmith comes in for Matherin. Nimhart, he's checked in for Heal. And it's McConnell in for Tyrese Halliburton. And the shot goes. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Ball outside. And here's Levine. Shoots over Neesmith. The baseline J is off the mark. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Here's Toppin. And the layup falls. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. There's Ball with a three. Unable to get that one. And so it's Indiana going into the break up 12. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be right back after this word. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. Quite a position here for the Pacers to be in. What do you guys think? Well, I'll tell you what, throughout the first, they did a great job of just running their offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. We've got Neesmith. Isaiah Jackson is out there with Toppin. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhart in at the two. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Ball against Halliburton. Ball passes to DeRozan. Oh, get out of the way! DeRozan! This is what DeRozan gives you, the ability to make tough shots in traffic, mainly because of his great athleticism. Well, some have called DeMar DeRozan a master of the mid-range, Smitty. Maybe rightly so. B.A., I definitely give him that title. You guys are as efficient in that area as him. In fact, most avoid it. Here's Drummond. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Here's Nimhart. Halliburton outside. Pass to Toppin. Drummond against Jackson. Here's Neesmith. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You That's have great. to compete at all times. 
the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Heald comes in for Nimhart. Williams is checked in for Chicago. White comes in for Ball. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Toppin. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Chicago. Levine comes in for Caruso. I mean, he can do it all. Shoot, facilitate, great skills for the young Halliburton. White, the pass to DeRozan. Outside Levine. And the three-pointer goes. Levine's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Neesmith. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? They credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. That is situational basketball. It takes a good understanding and good execution. Shaq, what's been the biggest problem for this team? Well, they've looked unsteady like Kenny when he's trying to run. Or Shaq when he's trying to dance. And fellas, looking now with the first half of play, ground to make up a major deficit for the Bulls. And that's a wrap up. And so it's the Indiana Pacers feeling confident. 18 point lead to win that quarter. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Boy, you gotta like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And it's time for an injury report. And now we'll send it over for a report on Benedict Matherin. Indiana's head athletic trainer gave me an update. He said it doesn't look good at all. They are very concerned. Any injury is the last thing you want this early in the year. A bad break for them, Brian. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. On the court for Chicago, DeRozan and Miller in at the forward slots. White and Levine pair up in the backcourt, and it's Vucevic in at center, filling out the middle. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Brian, the Bulls back in 2021, shifting the roster towards a more veteran win-now look. They've pushed their chips into the middle. Now they're trying to find their way into contention. All-star forward DeMar DeRozan said, quote, we've got to go out there and compete. If we want this thing, we have to go after it. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you. Here's Vucevic, and he drops it in from the low post. Vucevic has got four points in the quarter. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Three-pointer, Halliburton. DeRozan with the rebound. The Bulls have gone three of three in the second half. Pass to Levine. Over heel. Levine can't hit. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Here's Halliburton with the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Halliburton's got 13. And we're seeing a great mindset from Halliburton on offense. He's attacking relentlessly and getting well rewarded for it. Here's DeRozan. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. And so it's the Indiana Pacers feeling confident. 18-point lead to end that quarter. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. 
Heald and Matherin at the two and the three. Pascal Siakam out there with Miles Turner. And it's Halliburton in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And it's DeRozan missing. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Siakam, the pass to Heald. Turner with it. Over Vucevic. Turner, no good. And here's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Pacers. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And this one concludes with their second victory of the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them, but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Tyrese Halliburton. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. With slightly revised mechanics, Lonzo has become a more consistent threat from downtown. Toppin outside. Smith inside. Drummond's there. And here's Toppin from the arc. That shot is off. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. <laughs> One positive takeaway, at least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. And so it's the Pacers taking care of business in this one. Showing that they're the far superior. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us.